Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another reaction to X Men 97. We are on episode two, Mutant Liberation Begins. And I'm really looking forward to this episode primarily because A, we got a new mutant in Roberto, which I'm going to be very curious to see where his story arc takes him. But I am definitely interested to see what happens with the group, knowing that uh, apparently now Magneto is in charge. I don't really feel good about this, but we shall see what goes on i hope that gets explained very quick because um I, i'm about to say i knew that threw me for a loop big time last time so all that being said we'll go ahead and get started with x-men 97 episode 2 mutant liberation begins any sudden moves and the wheel could come crashing down oh hell it's okay honey mm -mm. come to me nice and easy ooh, 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 ooh. Now would be a great time for a mutant to show up. Ooh. Okay, who did that? Art? Is that who I think it is? Okay, who did humans? Wait. What? But while it's too soon to tell how recent events will impact mutant human relations. Questions that need answers. Across the globe, reports are flooding in mutants and humans aided and saved by the former mutant terrorist who'd gone missing after failing to launch a mutant rebellion. Okay, what is going on with Magneto? What am I missing here? You think regular folks can sleep knowing you demons are down here lurking? The depths you humans go. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work against Magneto. <laughs> How unfortunate for you that I am the master of magnetism. Dirty mutants! You get what's coming on your run! And I promise you, child, you shall never be afraid again. I don't know how I feel about that. That could be really bad or really good. The professor had a plan. Seen a lot of futures, but Magneto leading the X-Men. Maybe we should take a page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. I have hmm. arranged for the Morlocks to travel to the mutant nation of Genosha. Guess we can assume those jerks in the sewer are- Alive, but not unharmed. The tragic fact that I did not consign those sapiens to the waste bin of history is proof of my desire to honor Charles Xavier's dream of mutant human coexistence. Let Jean scan your mind. See your real plans. Even if I sensed Magneto's intentions were sincere, that's today, this hour, this minute. Then we check every mm -hmm. minute of every day. It's weird. I understand Cyclops completely, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Xavier wanted this. Maybe he was wrong. You have finally realized what I did. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. I need to tell you something, and I need you not to judge me too harshly. Oh? Don't tell Scott. Okay. You have my word, Jean. And you have my attention. There are times when I think about the baby. How do I tell him he's different? That the world will remind him of it every day. You wish him to be born human. I mean, I would say she has a very valid concern, especially seeing how mutants have been treated in these first two episodes. Boy, do I sound like a fool. <sighs> no, Jean. You sound like a mother. Well said, Storm. Well said. But you were worried if you still felt how much he loved you, you wouldn't be able to go through with your crusade. I feared you would do your best to avoid being alone with me, Rogue. Uh... Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? Wait. Am I... Am, what am I missing? Did they have something way back in the day that I don't know about? I guess this is what I get for not reading the comics. We don't lose our cool when the good guys show up. Uh, you were saying 
gear for Magneto. Our rifles are resistant to your electromagnetic powers. Well, your rifles are, but they aren't. I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against humanity. Should I successfully vindicate myself, will I earn your trust? That is how due process works. Then... Well... Interesting. This is a very interesting turn of events. I would not have expected Magneto to give up so, uh... Easily. Any updates? Cooper's listing every nasty step Magneto's taken from here to Asteroid M. Folks outside are pissed he's even getting to trial. Can't say I blame him. I don't either, but I'm very curious. It has such a weird feeling. How am I so quickly on Magneto's side on this? He really hasn't even done anything to earn that yet. My people's homes were burned to ash. Because we dared to call God by another name. I was a freak, born a mutant, an abomination to their misnamed gods. Believe differently, love differently, be of different sex or skin, and be punished. The oppressed become oppressors. Xavier knew this and dreamed we could change, find harmony. You claim justice is overdue. Indeed, but so is healing. I have only ever acted to avenge crimes against my people, as you act to avenge those against yours today. Oh. Protest is a breach in the perimeter. They must want Magneto. And the judges, ma'am. What in the blazes did we do? You gave a monster a trial. Now you are traitors to your kind. Oh, to play by the rules and still they come for you. I mean, Magneto has a point right there. Oh boy. Jane, gotta get into the city. Logan. Uh oh. He's he's here. <laughs> the baby. Uh, oh no. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know get how to drive? Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Almost there. Oh, only Wolverine could act like that. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. This way to the traitors. And y'all are proving Magneto's point. You've got a name? Executioner. Here to make sure gene freaks like Magneto pay for their crimes. People really don't think before they act anymore, do they? Hurt my friends? Well, now you answer to me. Cyclops, I don't think you're gonna win this one. You act like you got it so bad. Normal people have it hard too. Harder. We just have the dignity not to whine about it! I hate your whining just as much as I hate you! Okay, who is... Oh, Morph? That's why I love Morph! Scott, hurry! Jean. Jean, he's in the middle of something. Rogue. Fly Cyclops to Jean immediately. Magneto and I will protect the judges. Still Magneto. Circumstances do not offer us a choice. I want those in the lobby to assist the other X-Men. You, uncolor Magneto, you! Well now who does she think she- Do not think. Be silent, heed my commands, and you shall survive. She's got a point. This is not the time to argue. This doctor won't deliver our baby! Rook. Can you use your powers to siphon his medical expertise? You all need to- I'm sorry, sugar. Ugh. Prep an IV and get this lady to a room. Uh, okay! Wow. Man, this is crazy.
Magneto, go easy on them. Let us see how their mob manners fare against the shock of good conduct. Uh oh. Magneto. Oh! What happened? What did that do? Yeah, you deserve that. What? The breeze is gone. What has he done to me? This was not what we wanted. This is your dream. My kind splayed before you. Wow. What must we do to be good enough? Is this the high road's destination? Wow. Everything that just happened there just basically proved Magneto's point. Oh, Lord. Magneto, don't lose your cool, dude. You were just proven right. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. Oh, dear is right. Magneto, this is not what Charles would have wanted. Bigot, ingrate, worm. There was a time I would smite you all for what was done to Storm. But today... I see I what he's doing. For, own, for an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. How vast it is versus how small we make it. Well played, Magneto. Well played. This is a shared world. My kind have the right to live in it. I am trying to be better. Please do not make me let you down. The United Nations stunned the world this week when it issued a pardon for Magneto. I would say he earned that pardon. We will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. A UN nation? Never thought I'd see the day. I hear you and Jean have begun to make arrangements to leave. Does this mean you trust me? Professor trusted you, and I trust him. I guess that'll have to be enough. Be vigilant. Tragedy lures with fortune first. This was a good week for our people. Yet it was not without cost. For sure. Can Storm get our powers back? Inhibitor collars use radiation to temporarily neutralize our mutant powers. The Executioner's laser rifle fired a concentrated dose of that same radiation. It affects genetics on a cellular level. The effects appear permanent. Oh my! Oh no! Oh no. Oh man, that's rough. That's rough. Jean, my sister. You of all the X-Men know the heartbreak of saying goodbye. Having said it so many times, it is human nature to crave connection as it is also mutant nature to be heard. Seen, uh, what's going on? To feel another soul finally seeing yours. I am not okay with that. Only to then sometimes watch it break in a blink that changes your life oh. forever. We are no longer connected, Jean. But trust that I will cherish what we shared as X-Men. Memories that already feel like a lifetime ago. Muff. Ororo. <sighs> Dang. Oh. I don't buy it. Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home. Mm. Happy as a... Ha! <laughs> what did I say? She's back! <laughs> Jean? What the? The, the X-Men. Wait a minute. What What the hell? Uh, what? Jean? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What the hell?
All right, y'all, that was episode two of X-Men 97, Mutant Liberation Begins, and man, oh man, where do we begin with that episode? First thing I'm actually going to say, and honestly, this is something that I just kind of just thought of now because I was just taking some notes to make sure I got points I really want to hit, but one of the first things that I caught is I am absolutely amazed with how gripping this show is. Because I honestly think, and this is, I'm not going to lie, this is probably going to be hell to edit. Because there are probably so many quiet points on my end. But I'm just, I was just so, you know, just gripped by the show. That there just wasn't really much I could say during that. But the first thing I want to hit on besides just how great this show is, is Magneto. I found it crazy how quickly... I kind of turned to be on his side and I think and this is kind of like the thing that part of me I don't want to say dislikes about the way a lot of movies and TV shows go nowadays where they kind of really make it sound like the villains like really kind of like have a point like they have good points and everything and you kind of agree with them to make them not see so bad like I kind of miss the days where you know, there was a clear-cut good guy and a clear-cut bad guy. Now everything's so gray. It's just like, you don't know who to root for anymore. But the one thing I will say, even if Magneto was completely evil, the fact that he wasn't always that way and then he kind of turned tells you that he's not, I'm going to say, full-on evil in a way. But um, he made very solid points about why he did what he did. And I think what kind of really made me fully accept what I'm going to call his uh, face his face turn. Uh, I know you've probably heard me use the term heel turn before, but now I'm using the opposite face turn. You know, going from bad to good. Well, I won't say he's completely there yet, but you can definitely tell he's trying. But I think what kind of made me fully accept it was everything he was saying and even some of the people at the UN, the judges and all that were really arguing with them against. When all those protesters came in and did what they did, they went and done exactly proved everything Magneto was saying. And what's crazy is they were the ones who were really mad that Magneto was even getting a trial and they wanted justice done. And what's crazy is they are probably the ones that actually earned him his pardon. I mean, you talk about irony. You know, you go in trying to you know get you know what you consider justice and you end up getting him pardoned because of your actions but you know again it's because they proved everything that he was saying to be correct and that's not something they could just ignore and honestly what's crazy is he does seem really sincere in the fact that he really didn't hate you know Xavier and that he will whether he likes it or not move to fulfill his dream which i mean i guess kudos really it's just so weird to find myself rooting for magneto but even before that it's crazy how quickly i was kind of on his side but i think it's because i was more curious to see if he was really gonna hold up and do what it was that xavier wished for him to do i don't know if i can say i fully expected him to but so far it looks like he's holding up his end of the bargain and um speaking of magneto what the hell is up with him and rogue like i i'm not gonna lie i don't like this as i've said before gambit is one of my if not my favorite x-men i think as a kid i always lean toward morph but in the show i usually got more gambit so i think i lean more towards gambit but now i think i might actually be able to go back to morph but gambit is still a very close second so, um, seeing Rogue with Magneto, uh, clearly they have a past, and clearly it was a very close and romantic one, and, um, that last scene where you see Gambit standing out, just holding the car, and then just that drop, I'm just like, man, how are you gonna do my dude dirty like that? Like, I am, like, it's like, as quickly as I internally was on Magneto's side, I almost feel like internally I have quickly turned on him and, and in a way turning on Rogue because I'm like, how are you going to do my boy like that? That's just not cool. That's just not cool. And I hope that's something that Rogue 
explains, we get some more explanation, especially to Gambit, because, um, yeah, I, I, I don't like my boy being done dirty like that. I really don't like him being done dirty like that. And, um, man, speaking of being done dirty, though, Storm, I mean, I will say, you know, for her to take that shot to protect Magneto, granted, I would say it was probably more to protect others because of everything that he had, that if he would have lost you know, his concentration, his control, who knows what kind of damage that would have done. So I'm sure maybe she was thinking that, but whatever it was she was thinking, I mean, that shot that she took and then losing her powers to it and then leaving, I'm just like, man. It felt like it got hit with so many things, like right near the end of that episode. It's like for the whole time, it's kind of like just dealing with Magneto, but then you had the birth of a uh, gene and Cyclops' baby, which was interesting going back and forth between the birth and everything that Magneto was doing, you know, with that jury. And then it all ends, you know, with the Nathan being born. It's just like, man, you talk about a yin and a yang, you know, it's like you have both were tense moments, but one was more of a happy occasion. The other one was very tense, you know, so it's kind of crazy having them both happen at the same time. But, you know, that's kind of cool that ha happened. But man, poor Storm. You know, I, I don't know what she's going to do, where she's going to go, but I, I, I can't imagine the X-Men without Storm. So what are they going to do with her powers? And last subject I want to hit on is the very end, which I don't appreciate them uh, ending us with because that is not... I, actually, I'm going to I'm gonna say I don't like being left with a cliffhanger like that, but I don't fully mean that as in I hate it. It's just, you know, sometimes I'm used to having to wait you know, like a good week or so, you know, like with Star Wars, the act like, you know, they get left and I'm like, oh man, I gotta wait a week. Thankfully, if I really wanted to, I could go off and record my next uh, episode on that. So I don't have to be left in suspense for long, but um, two genes, what's up with that? And the way Cyclops reacted, something seems really weird about that. There's two genes, but the one that came to the school like why was he so I don't know what word I'm looking for but it's almost as if he felt or sensed something so what's going on I really need to know what's going on and I hope that is the plot point of the third episode which I say that and who knows because one thing I noticed is Roberto was not involved at all in this episode and I thought he was going to be a major uh, story point on this but I mean who knows he still could be but I actually kind of appreciate that they really kind of made this one a very Magneto uh, heavy episode because I know a lot of the questions that I really had I think for the most part got answered you know and I do feel like that Magneto is going to hold up and respect um, Xavier's wishes and do exactly what he did and he's already off to a great start you know the fact that that mutant nation is being admitted to the UN so obviously you know he's taking that first step but I'm not gonna lie especially with the way the episode ended I almost feel like that what he said to Cyclops was some insane foreshadowing when he was telling Cyclops to be vigilant, you know, because, um, oh, what was it? Uh, tragedy always follows fortune or something along those lines. I don't remember what he said, but I mean, between the birth of the baby, the way things went with the UN, the mutant nation becoming a part of the UN, it's like you got everything good going, but you got Storm losing her powers. Um, who knows what kind of mental state Gambit's going to be in in regards to Rogue. Um, obviously the state of the group knowing that Storm left, you know, and now we got uh, another gene. So it's just like just as quickly as everything seems to be going on the uprise, everything is starting to go on a decline just as quickly. So very curious to see how that goes. But as I said prior to this, again, great episode. Absolutely had me gripped. And I do appreciate the humor they added in that with Wolverine having to be the one to take Gene to the hospital <laughs> and his reaction when he realized, I mean, just the, oh, crap. I mean, that is just so Logan, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. But, um, yeah, so I think that's going to pretty much end it there. And I'm just going to thank you all for uh, stopping by and uh, 
saying this long with the reaction hope you all enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit the like button and if you have not already uh feel free to subscribe to the channel as well and if you do don't forget to turn on the notification bell that way you can be aware of any reactions i upload and also be sure to check out my other x-men reaction right over there and i will catch you all down the road